Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I want to talk to you about beeswax candles and why I like them for prepping. Hey everybody, welcome back. So, while not my first recommendation for alternative lighting sources for preppers, I understand that a lot of people like candles. And since I got my uh, recent Amazon order in, um, I purchased some beeswax candles and realized I'd never spoken about why I like them and why I prefer them if you are a prepper planning to use candles. Now, over here, we'll get to this in a minute. This is a folding Stonebridge lantern, uh, kind of an old school retro kind of thing. I believe this is a reproduction. It's obviously not an original. I'd be worth far more than what I paid for it. But uh, we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, and it's just a good example of where candles are safe and easy to use inside your home. So why do I like beeswax candles over regular candles? Well, first of all, unlike the typical candle, beeswax candles don't pollute your air. You can light them with peace of mind. They burn very cleanly, very little smoke when they're trimmed properly. You have to trim down your, your wick as you go. And uh, they're not oil-based, so they're 100% beeswax. They're natural, no chemicals, no processing, and they're biodegradable. So if you're into... Saving the planet, definitely a good choice. If you're into not having a whole lot of black smoke on whatever you're burning, definitely a good choice as well. Um, not only that, but people believe that beeswax candles can also help purify your air. Now, I don't know how much truth there is to this. I did a little research and I found out that candles made of 100% beeswax supposedly give off negative ions when they're burned. They neutralize the bad positive ions such as allergens, dust, and airborne toxins. They make a great scent in your room, and if you want, you can drop a couple of drops of essential oil in them. But actually, I find burning them has a wonderful kind of faint honey smell. So, that's kind of why I like the smell of them. Um, I, I really don't add anything to them. I just like them the way they are. Okay. Now, beeswax candles, beeswax candles, I'm sorry, are more expensive per candle, okay? But I feel they're far more cost efficient because of their burning time. You won't, you know, you're not going to compare these to, say, a hundred pack of... Uh, the tea lights you buy at the dollar store. But uh, when you realize and you compare them from some popular scented candle companies out there, you'll realize beeswax candles have a much better cost per burn time. They burn a lot longer, they don't melt as much, so you have a longer burn time with them. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set this up. I want to get this on camera so you guys see it. This is a really cool old school lantern. Um, these are not glass, by the way, they're mica. Very thin, transparent, almost a rock. And that's how they work. So these are from UCO. I will put a link to the description. And you can buy these on Amazon, but you don't have to buy them on Amazon. You can get beeswax candles almost anywhere. And what I do is I just shove it down in there and grab my lighter. I have to light that without burning my finger. Let's light that. There we go. Now I am going to let that burn down before I put the lid on, but I'm going to give you a few more tips on these. Um, Another cool thing about them is they keep up uh, the important work of U.S. beekeepers. Many of the local beekeepers in the area um, will make beeswax candles and offer them for sale. You can find them at farmer's markets, stuff like that. So, I mean, you know, you don't have to pay for the packaging and everything else. You can find these locally sometimes, too. And I do know a few people in my area that do raise bees, rescue bees, all that stuff. So, they also have a higher melting point. This comes in handy if you're carrying these in a backpack or a bug out bag or you're putting them in storage somewhere and it's going to be a little warmer than usual. That's where that comes in handy. And I think the thing's going to go out on me. <laughs> it did go out on me. Let's light them again. Oh, oh, didn't. No. No need to light it again. It just lit right back up. So they um, have a little bit of a higher melting point. They won't melt in your backpacks as easily. And they also gives them, that gives them a little bit of a longer burn time. They drip very little, and that kind of offsets their cost, too, because they burn longer, okay? They burn stronger and brighter, and they emit a natural bright light, kind of the same light spectrum as the sun. Now, that's not coming from me. That's coming from what I've looked up about them. But I do find that they do burn with a different light. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the lights here and let you take a look at this. I'm going to lower the camera a little bit down. And uh, let's take a look at it and show you the, uh, the candles and what you get. Let's fold this up. This is really cool. I got this, um, gosh, I'll put the link to where I got this down below. Uh, I forget the name of the store. They have very expensive, cool outdoor gear, but uh, they definitely have some cool stuff. 
Uh, let me lower this and turn off the lights and we'll see what the light from this looks like. So you can kind of see they give off a really nice, um, relaxing, warm glow. Um, again, my camera doesn't do as well in the dark, but um, you can actually see that's a pretty darn bright candle. And the lantern itself helps a little bit. The candle itself is pretty darn bright. And another nice thing about them, and we'll, we'll, when we put the lights back on, we'll, we'll get into this. You don't see all that black soot when you open this up. So let me turn back the lights, turn the lights back on, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like as, after it's been burning for a while. All right, so this has probably been burning about five, 50, five or 10 minutes. Uh, as you can tell, it's barely burned down. Let me open that up. You know, and you're not getting that huge drip all over everything that's messy, which also makes these handy for camping or bug out bags or whatever. You're not gonna have a mess to clean up in whatever you're using them in. But also too, notice the top here. Now when I burn this with a traditional candle, and I have the uh, one of the ones I used, one of these ugly blue, green, whatever the heck color, it blackened the top of that thing. You know, within a few minutes it just blackened it. So they burn a lot cleaner. And that's just something I've never really gone over as far as preppers and candles go. Um, if you're planning to use candles as your primary lighting source, I always tell people to be careful with them. Um, there's so many good LED options out there now. If you're not experienced in burning candles and candle safety, maybe it's a good idea to look into the LED stuff. But if you have something like this, it's fairly safe. I mean, even if this tips over, you know, the sides are not, I mean, heck, I can pick it up. The top's hot. The sides are ice cold. If it tips over, it's not going to burn anything. Chances are the candle will just put itself out. So you want to be safe when you're using candles indoors. You want to make sure you have adequate ventilation. But again, beeswax candles kind of mitigate that risk a little bit. They burn a whole lot cleaner. You're not getting all that black soot over everything. You're not getting it in the air of your house. So anyway, that's the video for today. Just a little uh, prepper tip. Um, why I prefer beeswax candles to regular oil or any kind of other candle. Um, I find them to burn cleaner and to be a little more cost effective, even though the initial investment is a little bit higher than buying a cheap, you know, homemade scented candle. Anyway, that's the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we have lots of cool videos coming up, so make sure you stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. If you're already subscribed, click that bell on the bottom there and you'll be notified when my videos go up. I know YouTube doesn't send a notification to everybody, unfortunately. And I want to say hello to a lot of new subscribers. I've noticed over the past couple of weeks we've gotten, we've hit 30,000. And I just want to say thank you to you guys. I never thought years ago when I started this channel I'd have anywhere near 30,000 subscribers. So that is really awesome. I thank you very much for uh, tuning in and checking out the videos. Um, don't forget to check out our Amazon links down below. I will have a link to these candles from Amazon. But our Amazon link down below for our store. If there's nothing in the store you like, just click the link and shop as you normally would. It doesn't cost you any extra money. And it helps with our costs and expenses on the channel. Helps us bring cool gear to you as far as often as I can. <laughs> okay. And don't forget to check out our Thrive Life. I have a Thrive Life order coming in, so we're going to be doing a video on that real soon. Um, I am trying to transition all of my canned vegetables, canned in water or whatever, over to freeze-dried because I find the freeze-dried stuff lasts longer. So we're going to be doing a video on that, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.